The Republican primary race for district attorney in Williamson County is heating up. The incumbent DA, John Bradley, versus the sitting county attorney, Jana Duty. Tonight, we are going in-depth with a new endorsement from the daughter of a murder victim. My mom was not just a case number. She's not just a name in the newspaper. She had a whole life. Caitlin Baker was just three days shy of her fourth birthday when her mother, Deborah, was beaten to death in their home. This is the, uh, the generation's photo. Her memories are in photos. My, my mom, her mom, and her mom, and me, a little baby. My mother's almost a mythical creature to me, and it shouldn't be that way. You know, it absolutely should not be that way if, if they had done the right thing during Michael Morton's original trial. Michael Morton tried and convicted for the murder of his wife the year before Caitlin's mom was killed. Turns out Morton wasn't guilty, and now the prosecutor at the time, Ken Anderson, is accused of withholding evidence that would have set Morton free. Yes, I think my mother's death absolutely could have been prevented. Um, and we don't know about any others. We haven't been any other confirmed cases, but I believe in my heart that there are other cases out there that Ken Anderson could have prevented and even John Bradley could have prevented because for those six years we do know that Bradley was involved. Who knows what Mark Norrie was doing and where he was and what he was what he was getting into. For six years, John Bradley fought DNA testing that ultimately set Morton free and connected Mark Norwood to both the Morton and Baker murder scenes. And because of that, Caitlin Baker is formally endorsing Jana Duty for Williamson County DA. Every man and every woman should take accountability for their own actions. John Bradley won't do it. Jana Duty will, even those things that some people wouldn't want to acknowledge. The truth is, Jana Duty Hunsicker was sanctioned for professional misconduct after the commissioner's court accused her of three violations of a lawyer's ethical standards. Bradley has put out a apology. series of ads this week as the May 29th primary draws closer. John Bradley is serious about protecting our communities. He has successfully prosecuted felony cases for over 20 years. Bradley has received the endorsement of the Round Rock Police Association, but duty has taken the lion's share of the law enforcement endorsements in this race. Growing up, it, there's always just this gaping hole in our lives. But all that doesn't mean a whole lot to a daughter who grew up without a mother. Well, Duty's campaign claims she has raised $115,000 compared to Bradley's $70,000. Early voting has already started in Williamson County. The winner in the primary will face Democrat Ken Crane.